Hello everyone and welcome to the Art of Medicine. I'm Dr. Mota Hare and today we will discuss one of the most common reasons patients come to see a doctor, a sore throat. But not all sore throats are the same. Some are caused by viruses and others by bacteria. And the difference really matters. By the end of this video, you will be able to recognize the differences between a strep and viral pharyngitis, understand when anti antibiotics are needed and how misuse contributes to antibiotics resistance. So what is pharyngitis? Pharyngitis simply means the inflammation of the pharynx, the part of your throat behind your nose and mouth. It causes pain, especially when swallowing. The most common causes are viruses and group A streptococcus. While viral pharyngitis often resolve on its own, a strep throat needs to be diagnosed and treated with antibiotics. So, figuring out the cause is the first important step for proper care. Let's look at the organisms behind these infections. Viral pharyngitis is typically caused by rhinovirus, adenovirus, or influenza, viruses that also cause cold and flu. On the other hand, group A streptococcus is a bacterium responsible for a strep throat. These two types of infection may feel similar at first, but they are clearly different, different in symptoms, diagnostic approach, and also treatment. And we will break these down next. Symptom patterns help us distinguish between the two. Viral pharyngitis usually starts gradually, often with a low-grade fever, cough, sneezing, or a runny nose. Classic cold symptoms. Sore throat, in contrast, has a sudden onset of sore throat, high fever, no cough, and often featured with petechia or pus on the tonsils, as well as tender swollen leg nodes in the neck here. There are some tender bumps here. The absence of cough is actually a helpful clue pointing toward, toward bacterial rather than viral infection. So we should accurately identify a strep throats. We use several tools. The most easiest one is a rapid antigen detecting test. Provide results in minutes and is commonly used in clinics when you visit your GP. Throat culture is more sensitive and remain the gold standard, but it takes one to two days for results. The central criteria is a clinical scoring system based on symptoms like fever, tonsillar, exudates, and absence of cough. A high score can guide whether we test or treat. These protocols help, help avoid overtreatment and ensure antibiotics are used only when truly needed. As I mentioned, the central criteria is a useful bedside tool. You get one point for each of the following items. One for tonsillar exudates, one for tender anterior cervical lymph nodes here, bumps here who are, who, who are tender, fever above 38, absence of cough, and also age. Young patients are scored higher. A score of three or more increases the likelihood of strep. This helps decide whether to test or treat empirically. It's not perfect, but it helps reduce unnecessary testing and antibiotics overuse. Let's talk about their contagiousness. Both viral and strep throats are highly contagious. Respiratory, throat, respiratory droplets from coughing or sneezing, from direct con contacts or indirect contacts via, via contaminated surfaces. But there are some key differences. Viral infections are typically contagious during the incubation period, that means before the symptoms appear and while symptoms are present. A strep throat is most contagious for up to two to three weeks if left untreated. Antibiotics can significantly reduce the contagious period, usually up to 24 to 48 hours. That's why it's so important to complete treatment and stay home from school or works for at least a day after starting antibiotics. Treatment entirely depends on the cause. Viral pharyngitis doesn't need any antibiotics, just supportive care, like fluid, 
rest and pain relievers if needed. Esther prod, however, should be treated with antibiotics to first shorten the illness, second, reduce transmission, and third and most important one, prevent complications, serious complications like rheumatic fevers and kidney disease. Knowing the difference helps us to treat, uh, treat appropriately and protect both the individual and the community. Now, here is the critical part. Overusing antibiotics for viral infection fuels the global crisis of antimicrobial resistance. When antibiotics are prescribed unnecessarily, bacteria evolve and become resistant, which means that those same drugs stop working. This leads to superbugs, infections that are harder and sometimes impossible to treat. We must use antibiotics only when necessary. An accurate diagnosis is key to doing this responsibility. Let's summarize. More sore throats are viral and go away on their own. A strep throat needs testing and antibiotic treatments for sure. But don't push for antibiotics unless they are necessary. Using antibiotics when they are not needed puts you and others at risk. Always consult a healthcare professional before a start treatment. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to The Art of Medicine. Leave your questions or experiences in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.